Candace, there are many ways to prevent pregnancy. As you can see in this picture, some are more effective, some are least effective. But I think you need a little more guidance into why you need to be on birth control. If every kid you've ever had has been taken away from you by the state because you can't properly care for it, that's a sign you need birth control. If you cannot stop drinking and doing drugs while you are pregnant, you probably want to take birth control and prevent another pregnancy for that reason too. Also, if you only want a boy, and the fact is you there's about a 50% chance it'll be a girl, 50% chance it'll be a boy. If you only want one gender, it's probably best to take birth control and prevent getting pregnant and then ending up with a girl that you do not want because you don't like females, I think. If the existing kids you have in your care have continuous body lice, head lice, rotten, rotten teeth, and not enough food, you might want to use birth control so they don't have to suffer like that. On to infant care. After you give birth to a child, you will your body will create milk in your breast to feed the baby. It has everything the baby needs in their diet to help them grow and develop normally. If you do, lots of women don't feel comfortable breastfeeding, and that's okay. If you don't feel comfortable breastfeeding, you can use infant formula. You have to buy this at the store and mix it up the way that the package says. This has everything your baby needs to grow and develop normally and everything they need in their diet. What you don't want to do is give your baby a bottle with whiskey in it. Whiskey, well water that's not safe, and a little bit of cow's milk is not what you should give your baby. Which leads me to my next thought. Children are not supposed to drink alcoholic beverages at all until they're over 21. Okay, Candace, next up, here's some information for you. 14 year old boys, even 15, 16 maybe, are still considered children and they're not supposed to be an adult sexual partner. So doing this makes you a pedophile. That's right, you're a, you're a pedo because you had sex with a teenager. That's really gonna screw them up, Candace. You're not supposed to do that. Now you know. And finally, Candace, since I don't have any more time for this crap, is Benny Keys. Benny Keys is a psychopath. He lives in his mother's ba basement, doesn't have a job, and only gets money that people hand to him because they feel bad for him. Let me tell you what Benny Keys is not. Benny Keys is not your lawyer, okay? He's not a lawyer. He's not going to be able to represent you in court when the charges come. So you can't say, I didn't try to tell you, okay? Okay, one last thing for me. Never be afraid, Candace, of a good, sturdy bra. It'll do wonders. It will do wonders. And we would all very much appreciate it if you wore one. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend.